Well guys, what's going on? Shane or Shanadian here, back with another video. Um, so today we are going to be diving another park. It is called the Black Bay Park. Um, so there's a little park here in Coeur d'Alene. I've heard that a lot of people go swimming here. This is the first time I've actually been here. But um, I've heard a lot of people swim. They actually lose like a lot of sunglasses and stuff. So we'll see if we can find some of those. But right now I'm just going to set up all my gear, um, get all that ready, put it on, and then I will see you guys in the water. Peace. Really nice to meet you guys. Thank you. Here we go, that's for you. A new ring already. <laughs>
We just jumped out of the water. Um, it was a really fun dive. There was a lot of just a lot of stuff down there. There's a lot of trash today. I tried to get a lot of as much as a, as much of it as I could. But the thing I saw the most of actually was lures. There was a lot of lures down there, way more than I normally see. So I can tell this is a, like a big fishing spot. Um, I tried to get as many as I could as well as you know trash, um, just to save some more fish. I don't have to take them off the hook, even though it is kind of entertaining. But I don't like them getting hurt or getting caught. But um, yeah, so we're just going to jump into all the stuff that I found. Um, I'm just going to run right through it and show you. Let's get into it. Right, so let's start on this side. So we got uh, the inner tube that we found. That's crazy. I've never found a full inner tube underwater before. But you know, <laughs> it's different, different. Um, we got a bunch of trash here. That's just pretty much what all this stuff is. Trash, bottle, um, like an actual bottle that somebody drinks out of and then the mug i like this mug i'm loved <laughs> that's nice kind of cool uh move over to we have some goggles uh a bouncy ball which is one of my favorites and a uh marble that's different i've never found a bouncy ball or a marble so that's cool uh we got a dollar bill that's nice nice cool to find those um just like some straps i guess a bunch of different balls <laughs> got some golf balls tennis balls uh, some other balls, I think, for dogs. But, um, yeah. We got our fork. Trusty old fork here. Um, and then we have our bracelet. So we have this one. It's like a, um, like a black belt. I guess it's karate and jujitsu. And then this one's for Coeur d'Alene, where we are right now. Um, and this is just a regular bracelet, hair tie, you know, stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Um, we got this tire, which is kind of cool. It's like a small tire. I'm not really sure what it goes to, but it's cool to find a tire like that. Um, this, no idea. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I have no idea what it is. So if you want to let me know in the comments below, give me some help. That would be amazing. I uh, got the rope up there, and then all the lures that we took out. This is there's just so many. I got as many as I could, but so many, so many, so many. Um, and then we got some clothes. We got a hat and a jacket. And move over to my favorite finds today. <clears throat> so we have these patches. The lady with the patch. And we have this one that says, whoever dies wearing this 
scalpel shall not suffer eternal fire. So I mean, I don't know. That's kind of it's different. I've never found something like that before. Um, but yeah, we got the snorkel. It's an old snorkel. It looks so old. It was buried so deep. Um, and then we have the old, like ancient sword. <laughs> Got the ancient sword there, and we got two pairs of sunglasses. This one actually look pretty nice, like newer. These ones are a little bit old, but still, still nice and decent condition. And then something that I actually realized as I was cleaning my stuff up, or I realized it underwater, but like, do you see in there? There's a piece of paper, um, and some rock and stuff. So I'm guessing somebody put it in there, you know. And I think that obviously it didn't want water to get in there, but it got in there anyway. So I'm gonna open it up and see if I can read what's on that paper because I see like a little bit of writing right there. But um, yeah, we're gonna open it up and see what's on there. So let's get to it. I might have to put you guys down for this one because it's kind of hard. So give me a second. Luckily we got the paper out, but sadly it is kind of like mushed together and destroyed. I tried opening it and it literally just falls apart. It looks like it's been in there for a long time. Um, so I can't really read what's on it. It is all just pretty much mushed together. Can't even open it I might try to dry it off when I get home and then see if I can open it, but I think it'll just dry together um, But we'll see But um, that's pretty much it for all the stuff that I found. I'm gonna run through I'll just give you guys like an overview of what I got <clears throat> So you can see everything laid out Bunch of stuff today a lot of stuff my bag was full It was super heavy to climb, like carry up the hill, but just a bunch of stuff um all right, so that's gonna do it for this part. I will see you guys at the end of the video. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you all enjoyed it. It was a really fun, just, just a really fun day, really fun dive. It wasn't even that cold, it was nice. I was talking to those people at the beginning that you saw. I did find the earring, I lost it. I remembered, you know, just as I was thinking about it right now. Uh, I did find that earring at the beginning, but I lost it, sadly, because I have a hole in my bag. So that really sucks. It looked like a pretty nice earring, too, but I, I'm glad you guys got to see it. I got to see it. We showed the people that I was talking to it. It was kind of nice. Um, but it was just nice cleaning up the environment as well, saving some of the fish, hopefully, from those hooks. Um, other than that, I'm going to head out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. This could be us. So back to what I was saying.